today I'm going to be showing you how to do a belt and um, belt tension or replacement on a 2011 BMW 328i. Um, this is a very simple one. Um, it's the inline six 3.0. I think this is like the B and B or something. I forgot what the actual name for it is. Um, but anyways, um, simple process. We got the parts from the dealership, so you're probably going to spend about close to about 200 bucks with the parts. Um, here's the part number. I think this is it right here. Um, 1128864624196. Um, um, so that's the part number for that. And then right here, here's the belt. 11-28-7-6-2-8-6-5-0. Um, very simple process. Like I said, nothing too crazy. This will save you a couple hundred bucks. It actually, believe it or not, gets a good amount of hours on this. So, um, yeah. So they do recommend you to replace the stud um, anytime you use this. I'm going to reuse it. Um, or... Yeah, yeah, there's the part number on the actual box. Um, so they do require you to replace it. Now, if you're going to reuse it, I would recommend you getting like a, a screw when you do the tension. So you can put a screw and just and throw it inside there. Um, I mean, any screw would work. So unfortunately, in my case, um, I can't show you how to take off the belt. I mean, I'll, go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you how to release the tension. You could do it right there. But obviously the belt fell off because the oil filter was leaking and so forth. I tried to get all the hoses replaced, but the guy doesn't want to approve that yet. Um, he'll wait, save up a little bit more, and then we'll go ahead and, re and replace that later. I'm happy that we're able to use the OEM part, so I like doing this. Um, prefer doing that. Now, when installing this guy, these guys do have a little notch that we're going to go ahead and insert. I'll go ahead and explain that a little bit later. Um, again... Simple process, nothing too crazy. You're just going to need a co like, couple tools, and that's pretty much it. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're going to go ahead and start this video right after the intro. So I went ahead and took off this little piece. You do not need to do that. But if you did want to, um, you would need a star bit like this. And it would be a T20. Um, you would have two screws. You would have one right here and one right there. Um, and then you would just go ahead and pull it back from right here and then push it to the side. So now we can have easier access. Now you can see how oily and grimy this is. Now this belt just literally just fell right off from right here. Um, now obviously, I wish I could show that. I will show that still, um, how to release the tension right now. Again, this is a very common problem. At least you'll see how the, the belt goes. Like you can just see all the oil. Like as I touch the belt, there's like oil all over it. Um, We'll say that for the customer. Now, pretty sure this has like no tension on it. So right here, this bolt, get that zoomed in. So right here, this bolt right here, that little star bit that we gotta do, get that to focus. We need to go ahead and release the tension on that. Now that looks like a T55. Nope, it's a T60. So you're going to be using a T60. So here it is. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you how to release the tension on it. All right. So we got to go clockwise. So as we go clockwise, we are releasing the tension. This actually tensioner has some really good tension. Um, so once you release that tension, 
if you're gonna reuse it there's like a little hole that's like more back there and again at the same time you would use a pin or um screw like tool to to hold that in place i think you can use like a five millimeter allen wrench too as well um and so forth so let's go ahead and take off this bolt that's holding in our tensioner so we're going to be using the e12 so inverted Torx, uh, I'm sorry, inverted 14. So E14, this is the one that we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and take that off. Sorry about the camera angle, guys. So this is Lefty Lucy. So here is our tensioner, um, exactly how it comes off. So again, once you release the tension, you're gonna put the pin right through here and lock it up in this little hole right there. And so forth. I think a, a screw would fit in there pretty perfect. Um, so yeah, so at least you can hold it in place. If not, if you don't, you don't have to, it just makes it so you can um, use both hands while taking off the belt. So you're not using one hand, um, but all right. So at this point, I would recommend you um, to clean each pulley if you do have oil. There's a reason why your belt sand um, fell off. So I'm spraying some brake cleaner on a rag right now. So I sprayed it on the rag and I'm gonna go right here at the idler pulley and I'm just gonna clean that up. So I have the, the rag sitting right there so you can see All right, so that same thing. We're trying to clean these pulleys as best as possible. So you can see that's all the oil that's coming off it. I'm gonna pressure wash all of this, so I'm not really too worried about this. We've got a lot of oil on this dang crankshaft. Um, and the same thing over here. We need to clean up all of that stuff. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put in our belt tensioner. All right, so let's check up inside and see how everything is. Make sure everything's all clean, which it is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and insert our belt tensioner. Um, so, I mean, like I said, it shouldn't be too crazy. We have our little indentation, this piece right here, that has like a little slot for it. So that little slot is actually going to go right here up in this area. Now, I was already looking at the torque specs. Um, they say 29 foot-pounds um, and a half. So 29.5 foot-pounds. I mean, you could do 29 foot-pounds. I think that should be fine and ideal. This bolt is like so light. So make sure you always thread it in by hand first. All right, so we are in there. Now we are ready to slap in our belt. All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and put in our belt. Um, this is gonna be a really hard to show with um, one hand. So basically, as I'm doing this, I'm just gonna talk about how I'm gonna do this. So first, we're gonna start off with the crank pulley. And then I'm gonna go ahead and whip it right over, just like this because we got to get it over to the air compressor. Um, so, and then I'll, sh I'll show this in a little bit, so you you'll be able to see. Sorry about my arm being in the way. Like I said, this is one of those things where it's really difficult to show and record. It's really not that much space. So, all right, so I have it on the AC compressor and right now I'm pulling the belt. Oh, let me 
and put the belt right over there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hang out the, the belt at the alternator for right now. So at least you can see some of this. So I'm going to go ahead and come right up over our alternator. And then we'll come up under our little power steering. So let me go ahead and... Now I'm going to go ahead and just take off the slack off this. So I can just bring it right over here. Because going on groove pulleys is actually a lot more harder than what it actually is. So I think on the bottom, we're not fully seated. Let me make sure we're fully seated everywhere. Okay, which we are, except the crank pulley. So, all right, so there we go. We got some more slack off. still got a lot more slack the belt actually oh i can see it right now we're still at the crank i'm gonna put my hand down here i can already see the belt not fully seated on sorry about the camera guys all right so we should be golden now all right, cool. Man, this engine's so greasy. Typical BMWs. All right, so um, you can see it right down over there. We have the, we're gonna start off at the crank pulley. So the crank pulley, the belt's gonna come right over the belt tensioner, which is this guy. So we're coming over the belt tensioner, coming right over here. Then we're gonna go under the AC compressor, whip it right around, just like that. And we're gonna come over the alternator, and then we're gonna swing it right back under between the alternator and then the, so the belt's actually gonna go from, it's gonna go over the alternator and it's gonna go right here on this side of the tensioner and it's gonna go over the power steering pump and it's gonna come back up under the crankshaft pulley. And then from there, we are golden. And so now at this point, we're gonna release our tension. And then we're just gonna go clockwise and then pull out the pin. You, It is gonna be a lot of tension on there, so there we have it. Um, double check, make sure everything's in its grooves. If not, you're gonna have an issue with the belt and so forth. So. Um, at this point, you're pretty much done. Um, I got to put on a new oil filter, which I already got right now. So I'm going to go ahead and slap that on. But pretty much that's how you put on the belt. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.